Hi, this paradigm shift is about improving quality, production, and customer relations. And I'd love to tell you that I figured this one out all by myself, but it actually happened when we were doing some PR interviews at a company. I was talking to a lady in inside sales, didn't really think there was much sense asking her about injuries, so I just asked her if she'd noticed any improvements in quality or production since they had taken the critical error reduction techniques. And she said, oh yeah, she said, I don't know about the other people in this department, but for me, it's been huge. I mean, not when you're learning, you make lots of mistakes then, but after that, it's always one of those, meaning rushing, frustration, fatigue, and complacency. And this didn't really hit me until I was in the editing suite, but I started thinking about how much time do I get to spend learning something new or doing something new compared to doing what I know how to do well. And I started talking to other people and <laughs> What's interesting is that in 66 countries, when you ask somebody, how's it going today? You can hear same old, same old in 66 different languages. So I'm not the only one that doesn't have a whole lot of variation day to day, week to week. I mean, it's easy to see when we're learning something new, but that's only maybe 10, 15% of the time. So why do we make mistakes when we know how to do something well? Or put it this way, can you think of a mistake or performance error you have made that was not caused by rushing, frustration, fatigue, and complacency, or a combination of those four states?